Hey, what's going on? It's Adrian Mirzad here with top Olympian bodybuilder, Arash Bar, Online fitness superstar, Marjan, world-class, talented artist, Sarah Rabar. And we're having Chester. amazing conversations. Yes, little Chester too, represent. And um, one great thing about conversations is the power of questions. I love asking people questions. I'm a curious mofo. So I'm going to pose a question for Arash that I would love to get your point of view. Let's say it was the end of your life. We all chipped in to put a billboard up in Times Square. And that billboard will be up there for the next 100 years. You have to leave one sentence to be remembered for. What would that one sentence be and why? One sentence to remember for the end of my life on a billboard in Times Square. For the whole world to see billions of people. <laughs> This was not scripted, it was right off, right off the bat. It would be, live every day as if it would be your last. And I know you guys have heard this so many, so many times, time and time again you've heard this quote, but meaning that every single day you are doing something in that 24 hour period that's going to make your tomorrow that much closer to your end result, to your goal. So mm. we all have life goals. Yeah. We all want these extravagant things, regardless of they're materialistic or not. Successes in business, we want materialistic things, health, cars, houses, health, relationships. But a lot of us just dream about them and we go through our daily routines that has nothing to do with that end result. So, so every day, even if it's a few minutes, even if it's a half an hour, even if it's a small step, take a tiny step or a big step if you can towards that end result. Let's say someone is in a funk right now. They're lacking the momentum, they're stuck, they're depressed, and they can't get themselves to do, take action. They know what they need to do. If someone's in a bad state, how do you recommend getting out of it? Sometimes it's hard to look positive on things that suck in your life. Mm. So just don't look at them. Don't think about them. Don't think about your shit relationships and your bad jobs. Take a step back, take a breather. Maybe change your atmosphere, go somewhere that you haven't gone, get off social media, leave your cell phone behind, right. and just think. Think yeah. about what you want. Dream like a little kid would dream, wow. and then reevaluate and start with a new plan and take a step forward, regardless what that step is. A lot of people might have the wrong plan, but as long as they're moving forward with a plan, they're living. Moving forward yeah. is living. Staying stagnant and not doing anything and being frozen is death. That is powerful, yes. And Inch of action goes farther than a mile of physics. Absolutely. Do the littlest thing, start now. That's powerful. Now, Marjan, I want to ask you the same exact question. The same question. Okay. <laughs> what was the question again? If, one sentence. If we devoted a billboard in Times Square and you would leave one sentence for billions of people to see for the rest of your legacy, what would you put on that billboard? What's one sentence that would signify how people should live, live their lives? I would say be yourself and never stop questioning mm. because I feel like the majority of people live their lives according to someone else's thought process and their goal they have the same goals as everyone else but and then they're unfulfilled because they get what they thought they wanted and they never even wanted that. Wow. I know that's this powerful. is kind of weird, but... No, that's, no, that's, that's yeah. spot. That's, I yeah. totally agree with that. Like, for example, I find myself sometimes not acting on my goals because I feel like I might actually be good with having health, family, and that's it. And I don't like saying that, but it's kind of the truth, you know? Let's say there's someone who's... Um, really scared of what others think of yeah. them. Maybe they want to create videos on social I media. I used to be like that. <laughs> like they Very have recently. this fear of expressing themselves. We're putting a quote, right? Mm -hmm. What advice do you have someone who's too concerned what others think of them? People are, this is what I learned. I used to be like that. I was so afraid to post something. Mm. But I realized that people are going to understand and see things from their perspective. Most people have a stupid, shitty perspective. So why would you care what they think? That's just how I look That's at it. It's beautiful. Yes. And they're holding, you have to look at those people as if they are stopping you from being yourself and reaching your goals. So that's how I kind of look yeah. at like the trolls and the haters. And um, psychology, there's a concept called the invisible audience. And people, when they put stuff on social media, they have the feeling like <laughs> they have haters or they have people that, but most people don't care about you because they care about themselves, right? If you go to a party and you don't know anyone, you're like, oh my God, I don't know anyone. 
I'm concerned. But every single person at that party is caring about themselves. Yeah. No one has time to think about your shit. They're concerned with their own world. So the more you realize that, the less you care what people think. Exactly. That's so true. Yes. And finally, the talented Sarah Rabar. Thank you. This is going to be a very beautiful, artistic answer. Oh and my that's, God, the pressure is on. Yes, because you have obviously many years of personal development. You have world-class art experience. You've experienced a lot in life. So what is that one sentence you would leave for all of eternity? It's so crazy because I had a lot of time to think. Like if you just put that on the first one, that would have been hard. But actually, it was so organic and instinctual. Like it's funny when you can kind of silence your mind and you mm. can be comfortable in your skin. Things that were so like a struggle to they come so smoothly now. Wow. As soon as I was like, oh my god, what am I gonna say? Like you know when you're in school and you don't want to raise your hand, you don't want to be called on, you panic. I went into that one like, why am I going? And I just can't. And it was like just came. Beautiful. Like, it's so funny. Alan Watts, do you know that philosopher? I love Alan Watts, He's yes. He's amazing. And he said, you don't need to go anywhere. You don't need to find anyone. You, it's all, just ask yourself. Wow. When your mind blocks out a name or something, just ask yourself. It's all there. All the answers are there. Anyway, um, what I would write is uh, uh, do what you love. Mm. And, I, and Arash actually told me this quote. I put it on my Instagram. Do what you love with who you love. Wow. And it's so simple. But honestly... That's the whole thing. All we need in this world are more happy people than what they love. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. So here's the question I have. Um, if <laughs> so someone is in a place where um, they have a passion, something that they love, but it's not paying the bills. They want to do what they love. Let's say they want right. to become a world-class artist like you, or they want to pursue bodybuilding, or they want right. to do music, but it's not making money, yeah. even though they love it. What or advice YouTube you have? videos. I put videos on every day, it's like 80 bucks a month, and people laugh at me, but it's, I'm not thinking about the 80 bucks. I'm thinking about the, the long run and how much I'm benefiting people, and that makes me feel good. So. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Littlest, Littlest 80 thing. bucks counts. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I can say, Arash and I, just from personal experience, we went through a lot of challenges. Mm. Challenges where other people wouldn't have gotten back up from. Yes. Mm -hmm. And. We just had this passion, passion, this drive, mm. and I did a lot of crap. Like Gap, Burger King, you know, we were our family had restaurant business. I did not enjoy, you know, being a busboy at three in the morning. I you know, that every, hustle, you know, yeah. But we both had this thing. We would have. The time is going to pass anyway, regardless. You might as well be going towards something, you know, that you're excited about. I think having that goal right here, you just you just keep moving. Mm. I mean, we didn't always have those dream jobs. Yes. But we wanted that. And mm. we were willing to do anything to get it. So we took on those other jobs. We saved money. We we did what we had to to get to that end. You did what you had goal. to do. Yes. Yeah, just keep moving, keep going. And don't forget and don't let things stand in your way. My uncle actually told me when I was in this dark place, and uh, he's like, you, you don't have a, you need to have that goal. Yes. You know, if not, like, any wind, any person, anything's gonna just pull you off the path. But if you know what you're looking at, you just keep moving forward. Yes, I feel that. That's powerful. Fight it's for like, what uh, you love. Yeah, yeah, that's, I felt that in my heart. Essentially, it's just interesting, we all have a similar common thread of staying focused, taking action, not giving a shit what people think about you. Exactly. But it's like just having that in your place. And when you become obsessed about something, yes. that's what happens, right? So. The worst thing is to look back on your life and be like, well, I didn't do this or I didn't do that. Become obsessed about your dreams. Otherwise, you can look back and be obsessed with all the excuses why you didn't accomplish it. Exactly. But all of us are self-employed following our dreams and mm -hmm. our passions. And a lot of people watching have the nine to fives. But what they have to understand is all of us led that nine to five cookie cutter life. Awesome. And we all, all four of us went through a transitional period where we let go of that and gave ourselves 100% of this. And maybe for a few years for you, a couple of years for you, a couple months for you, it was a point where you didn't fully let go. It was 60-40, 50-50, yeah. 70-30. But once you fully let go and you commit, you're going to succeed. And the, th the feeling and the thought of failure at something you're not passionate about, it's not really a yeah. big deal, who cares? <laughs> yeah. But the feeling and the thought of failing at your passion is a terrible feeling and you won't let yourself fail. So pick something you're extremely passionate about, 
work hard at it, and you will not allow yourself to fail. I love it, love it. Yes, it's the, the art of mastery, yes. right? I think we all should discover our passions and spend time every single day mastering it, getting better, slow incremental progress, and then we become world class. I would say that, right, I'm, I'm sitting with world class people, the best of the best in what they do, and there's no secrets, right? There's a success, and success leaves clues. So that was very powerful. And if you just take one insight from this conversation, just apply it, master it every single day, and watch your whole life change. 